Welcome to Oracle SQL and PLSQL session. DML operations in PLSQL. So how can I write insert statement? Insert statement inside the PLSQL block. Say for an example, I'm going to take so this particular statement here, insert into customer. Okay, I will go to select star from customer. I have something here, then I'll go for customer one. Both are similar table only. See here, I have some value. I will remove some value here. Okay. Customer one. I will truncate customer table. Truncate table, table name. Customer table, I'm truncating. See, this customer one is backup table. You assume that I want to check the data. If the data is present here, some 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 sort of question we have to write. So that we will take it later if condition and all. But see here I'm writing. The data is available here, then don't do anything. If the data is not available, do insert operation. So how can I do the insert operation? See here, I'm trying to insert, insert into customer. You can mention the column names actually. So in real time project, don't directly star and all. So definitely don't use star. We can see here, select star from the table name and the customer ID, right? So always mention the column names here. The customer ID, comma, customer name, comma, mobile number, right? Mobile underscore number, comma, age, comma, city ID, right? So these columns we have to mention one by one. City ID, values, and I'm writing. See, this is very simple PLSQL code. Begin and end, and we are writing the insert statement. And we are committing it also. So why? Because you need to commit it, right? So whenever you are writing DML operation in Oracle database, you have to do the commit. So before that, I will show you. So in the customer table, I do not have any data. I'm going to run this PLSQL code. So this time I'm not using any DBMS output. You can see here, it will simply show like PLSQL procedure successfully completed. That's it. That is what you will be getting in the log, right? So your procedure will get succeeded. But after that, if you go and check in the database table, so it should have taken the data, right? See, this is very simple, sorry, insert statement. Hard-coded value, I'm just inserting it, right? That's it. But here, so this is commit statement, I have committed. I have committed. Then I want to go for one more statement here. How can I write insert statement inside the PLSQL? Yes, see, this is the way you can put. And I'm going to write insert into customer, Okay, I'm going to use select statement. Select, select all the columns from customer one where cust ID not in 100. So, why? Because I'm using that 100 already available. I think the customer one also will have the these columns, right? See, we can remove this. I'm not using hard coded value, right? So directly I'm using select statement, right? Select column names from the table name. That's it, right? So why do I need to use all this? Just you can execute, it will be executed. So before that, I will show you the customer table. I have one record, but customer one table, you have many records. Since this is the primary key in the customer table, I'm not selecting that record. Okay, you can even you can put equal symbol. So I'm going to execute this to showing like PLSQL procedure successfully completed. If you're going to check this, it should have loaded all the data, right? See, all the data has been loaded. See, this is, I'm inserting the values by selecting the values from another table. So you can give hard-coded value, but this is the way we will write normally. So you can, uh, for an example, you can check some run IDs, some previous run IDs or something, you can check it. If this particular day is today's date run, it has been already loaded. You are checking some data. If it is already loaded, then don't do anything. If it is not loaded for today's date, you load the date, something like that. You can put 
you can write some plsql code but those things we will take it after if statement all this but this is simply insert into i hope you are clear right so how can i take insert into yes this is the way you can put insert into select i, I want to update some record so insert statement yes you can do insert update statement yes you can put some update statement see here i can update date customer set customer name equal to this name okay so even if you are if you are not updating and you can see here i'm not i'm not committing it what will happen okay when i'm not using var class i have executed so procedure has been executed we can check in the customer table then all this are has been can i roll back now can i roll back if i roll back what will happen roll back completed and will it have previous record or see you have executed some some plsql block but you forgot to mention commit inside the plsql block you are closing the session okay so i just executed roll back if you go and check here customer table has been rolled back okay so that's why we have to use a uh, roll back or commit or something but we have some other concept so that i will explain later so we have the transaction that concept we have later i will explain the same way if i want to if i want to do the delete statement yes you can do the delete so delete from table name var condition you can put some var condition so all the data will get deleted and select statement we have seen if i want to put all this into single statement yes you can put and if you want to make dbms output so that you can put it here 